Just describe a little bit of that time when you're sort of an unmoored actor trying to find work and how you, like, how you deal with that. Well, I didn't know what I was good at, um, really. <laughs> and then you're also like, it's a really interesting thing because so many parts that I auditioned for initially, I was still auditioning for like high school and college parts. And a lot of those parts are for very conniving, sexually manipulative teenage girls. Oddly. Oddly. Yeah. Very overrepresented. I was so kind of sheltered, I didn't even know how to flirt. So I remember getting scenes for auditions and being like, you're supposed, it says she's flirting, but I don't know what to do. So you're like trying to figure out what it means to flirt. And it, because whatever flirting I was doing was just kind of like the awkward nerd meets nerd, like, hey, <laughs> have you read that book? You know, like it was not, you know, I was not sidling up to anyone, you know. So um, I remember consciously telling my mom, we have to go get me revealing clothes for these auditions. So like going and buying low cut tops and short skirts and buying heels, which- You were I, a complete innocent. Yeah, I did not know what I was doing. So, you know, you just, you're like, this is my audition shirt that I would never wear. Um, and I remember I would like wear a zip up hoodie, you know, cause I was embarrassed to be seen in the shirt and then just sort of unzip it and take it off for the audition. And then the audition was over and zip it back up again. Thankfully, I didn't have a lot of really terrible uh, casting experiences, and I think that's also because I had, you know, reputable agents and managers who right. were sending me out on right. things that weren't like that. But even still, I remember auditioning for this movie, and I was still living in New York, and I'm not really good at doing my own hair and makeup, and I remember the casting director saying to me, you girls in New York, you know how to act, but you don't know how to do this. And the <laughs> girls in LA, they look perfect, but I gotta teach them how to act. And he said, I wanna bring you in for the director, but I know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say not pretty enough. So you need to fix this and and like gesture, like hoist your boobs up. And uh, I was like, okay. So I like went to the Bobby Brown counter at Barney's and paid them to do my makeup and you know, I, that's, I used to do that all the time because I didn't know how to really do my makeup. So if it was a big audition, I would go to Barney's and like pay oh them. God. They became my buddies. They knew me and my mom and you could get like a SAG discount on the makeup. And really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you develop tricks as an actor. I'd like go to the dry bar and get a blowout and I bought a push up bra and went back in and did not get the part, but. Oh, yeah. God. But I think every actress has stories like that.